Well, today on Nation Window Cleaning Podcast, we're talking all about are you there? Are you really there for everybody? Can they find you? Do you even exist? All these and more deep questions on this week's WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully this doesn't suck, and hopefully it's better than a cat video. Uh, but there's 240 episodes. Not all of them suck. So go back and watch all you want. Binge away, my friend. Uh, learn, or don't even learn. Just spend some time, hang out. Uh, surround yourself in business, because why not? But uh, 240 uh, episodes to follow up on. And remember, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. Yes, that's true. You could have your very own rep. It's me. Uh, call me, uh, text me, let me put your orders in. Uh, 862-312-2026. All of them. Little, big, I'm telling you, it does not matter. I love orders. The more orders, the better. And uh, Steve and I have a little challenge that we're doing to see who puts in more orders. So please your orders and let's do this i want to win uh 862-312-2026 is my cell phone let me know call me put it all in your cart just be like yo jersey everything's in your cart everything's in my cart and i can put it in but anyway i beg every week uh, with my shameless plugs and uh, i hope it resonates with you uh same thing as the american window cleaner magazine if you haven't yet get a subscription to american window cleaner magazine because it is absolutely amazing. You're amazing. It's a perfect pairing. You get sticker sheets, and stickers are cool. You get posters. Posters are cool. By the way, Steve-O, it's on the poster. Uh, you just get a whole lot of stuff, and you're surrounding yourself with amazingness in the industry that we are in. So go to awcmag.com. Get American Window Cleaner Magazine. Whew. All right. Well, thank you very much for still hanging out after all those ploys. Uh, I still need to live, so I <laughs> I gotta put orders in. Uh, that's how I make my cheddar, and I gotta have magazine subscriptions because that's how I make my cheddar, right? And because of you people who do all of that, it's absolutely amazing. And I always joke about ending the podcast. I've been doing this for four years, uh, but I can I can never do that. So if you have and you want this to continue, uh, go and support me somehow. Anyway, cool. Well, uh, we are talking about are you there today? And uh, as weird as that sounds, and as kind of kind of weird and uh, mythic, it's not really mythic. Are you there, though? Are you found by people? Are you there in order to be found? Right? There's a big thing that I always see in window cleaning. So as business owners, just in general, it doesn't matter what we're doing. There is something about it when you create something that's awesome, right? Posts, websites, whatever, prints. You're like, this is so rad. And then you show it to people and they're like, eh. And you're like, what the heck? It's because they didn't put the blood, sweat, and tears into it. And I have so many people who show me a website and they go, how is this? And it's not really great. (laughs) But people more worry about what it looks like than how it's found. And as a company, the number one thing you need to be is found. I'm telling you. That's more important than absolutely everything. If you're one of those type of people who goes, "Uh, I just do quality work and people call me. Okay, cool, but that's not really... Everybody does quality work, right? Yes, everybody has somebody who they said, oh, they did such a crappy job. I get that, so not everybody. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody assumed to have quality work. You can't allow them to dictate when you're found. So you have to be found. That's the number one thing. People may have an awesome website. They may have an awesome you know, logo or whatever. But if they're not found, it doesn't matter. It's just you and your mom looking at it, right? <laughs> but um, I always kind of put it back to uh, having a really good billboard. Oh, man, this thing is going to sell so many fill-in-the-blanks. It's a great billboard. I got a really discount space. It's inside this alley. If you put a billboard up in an alley, it doesn't matter how awesome the billboard is, no one's going to see it. No one's going to find your billboard and no one's going to use that to make their purchasing decisions. Right? That's fair. You can agree on that. So, 
look at it the opposite side. No matter what it looks like, if you get the message to people, that is more important if you can connect to people, right? That's why I like door hangers and home shows and trade shows and places where you can go, hey, my name's Jersey with XYZ. It's nice to meet you. And people can understand who you are and what you are. You give them another chance. It's all about being found. And a lot of people are not found like they think. They're just not. They're just not found like they think. And this is a big one that people really do tend to have some issues in understanding. But being out there and really understanding if you're out there takes some skill. And we're going to talk all about that in just a second. Um, but if you have not yet figured out what an incognito view is, well, you're doing yourself a disservice. Here's the thing. Google and all the other search engines and everything else know what you like. They know what you look at, right? You've searched your website a thousand times. They know you like your website. So if you just search window cleaners in my town, Guess what? Your website pulls up. You're like, dude, I am killing the game. Killing the game. But that's false information. That is changed information. It's based on your trends. And your trends are you look at your stuff. So you have to go into an incognito view. Now, if you're on a Google Chrome, which I hope you are, because that's, I think, the best one out there, uh, just go to the top menu bar on your screen and type new. You know, find new and then incognito, new incognito view. Just do that. What that does is it takes you and it makes you have no search history, no history at all. So if you type in Jersey's window cleaning in XYZ town, you'll see exactly where you are truly out there. Now, if you're searching your words and you're popping up at the top, cool. That's awesome. Search 10, 20 different phrases, right? Because guess what? I may be a little old lady who searches window washers in my area. Window washers in Louisville, Kentucky. Window cleaners in Chicago, Illinois. I may search clean windows in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, or whatever, right? There's lots of different ways that people say. People may say in my area. People may say near me. People may say in my county. They may say in my city. They may say in my state. There may be a region. Maybe you're called the, the Twin Cities and that's a nickname. Maybe they look for it there. You have to find what you're ranking on. If you just search one thing and you go, wow, I'm doing awesome and you never look at anything else, you're missing out. Inco incognito view helps you see what people really will see. Now, again, I've sold my business. This is a while ago. Um, but in my searches, uh, I was on the first page of my searches more than six times, no matter what my search was. And you're like, well, how is that possible? Here's the thing. Is if you're a number one ranked person by Service Magic, which is Home Advisor, uh, if you are on Thumbtack, if you are on all these other things that people can find you on, they're going to find a bunch of other people on. But if you're ranking really well with those services and those services are paying to be found, then guess what? You're on those services too. I love, let me say, I don't really love it. I tolerated being on a bunch of sites, right? Backlinks are not as important for the SEO work, but they are for being searched. What is ranking? How is something being found? Being everywhere is being found. Incognito view shows you that. How many places are you? Search the weird things. Think about little old lady searching for your services. How are they finding them? You have more services than just window cleaning, probably. Search those. Where are you? I'm telling you, it's going to blow you away how many you don't even rank on. You don't even pull up first, second, third, fourth page of Google. You're like, what the heck? I'm not anywhere. You will be absolutely blown away. 
Because you have to understand that if I search XYZ window cleaning and I search a town, there's more than likely going to be like uh, 50 different window cleaners. And not all of them rank and not all of them have websites. I know that. But they're going to be out there for some reason. And there's multiple pages. Best place you can hide a body is the second page of Google. No one looks there. No one goes through everything on the first page of Google and goes to page two. They just do not. If you look at the bottom of Google when you make this search, search whatever terms you want in window cleaning or pressure washing or whatever, and then look at the bottom. It's going to pull up that there's 10 windows. 10 windows of 10 results shows you there's at least 100 results. But look, it'll tell you how many results there are. There's usually tens of thousands of results. Right? You need to be found. You have to be. Are you even there? If you're not there, that's a problem. What are people searching for? And if they're searching for things and you're not being found, it's a problem. You can actually go to Google and find their keyword locator. Google has their keywords indexed in how many searches they are every month and how many um, uh, results there are and how many things. So if you think, oh man, everybody's searching window cleaners in, you know, fill in the blank city. If you think that's the thing, check it out in a Google or any other kind of keyword locator. And it will tell you what it is. You'll see everything else around it. Well, yeah, that one's pretty good, but look at these other ones. Oh man, I didn't even think of that. Why are so many people searching for window clean? There's so many things out there. You're like, how is there like, you know, 22 searches for bird poop window or something? Well, be found. If you can add those, add them. If you can rank them, rank them. If you can SEO them, SEO them. The only way to know if you're there, the only way to know if you're being found is to check, truly check. So get that keyword locator, by the way. That is going to be found under uh, AdWords portal. If you're not using AdWords, just search. What are the best keywords in my area? You'll find a bunch of different programs. It'll pull it up, a bunch of different web stuff. But uh, you'll be really, really surprised. Really surprised. But if somebody does find you on anything, are you being found vocally? Are you answering your phone? Are you answering your phone? This is such a big one because I always tell people, if you want to change your business Monday through Friday, answer every call. If you want to get really good, answer every call seven days a week. I'm telling you, if you pair answering every call with bidding over the phone, you will increase your closes and your company will grow 10 times in one year. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Money back guarantee. You've paid zero dollars for this. So if you don't get 10 times because you do that, you will get zero dollars back. No, but it really is because here's the thing. If I call you, right? If I call you right now, it's because window cleaning is in my brain right this second. I don't want to think about it. I'm not thinking about it like you're thinking about it because window cleaning is your life. It's not mine as a customer. I go, oh man, my windows are such garbage. I got to find it. Oh, I found this guy. All right. Hello. Ring, 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 ring. I didn't even answer. All right. What do they do? Click. They move on to the next one in the phone book and go because they don't know you yet. They don't care. They want it done. If you answer and you say, hey, I just have a couple of questions. I can give you a bid. They give you the answers. You give them the bid and tell them and I could be there, you know, next Tuesday at uh, nine between nine and 10 a.m. That's everything they needed. They finished everything. They can knock it off their list. They go, yes, cool. Let's do it. Boom. Done. Hey, guess what, mod? I just booked the window cleaning. If you start doing that, it is such a game changer. It will flip your world 180 degrees. I'm telling you, because what you think, well, no, I mean, people see me, they, they see these ads I made. They're so great. They're going to leave a message. No, they don't. They don't always leave a message. And a lot of times, guess what? If someone does leave a message, when do you get back to it? The end of the day, maybe in an hour. How many times have you called? Like, oh no, we got somebody. Thanks. Yeah, because guess what? They just called the next person. They just called the next person. That's as simple as I can be without being hurtful. As they will call the next person, especially if they're new. If they are somebody who's absolutely new and they're just calling to get something done for the first time, they'll call the next person. 
Because guess what? Your ad looks really good to you. They don't care. It got them to maybe think about window cleaning, but I'm telling you, every time that I did ads, every time I did EDDM, every time people saw my trucks, I sold work for other window cleaners. Guaranteed. You got a really dope truck. People are like, oh man, look at window cleaners. And they drive by, well, they didn't see your logo or they don't remember it until they get back home at the end of the night and go, oh, window cleaning, I need to do that. What was that place called? I don't know. Let me look in the phone book. Oh, look at this first one I call. Or not phone book anymore, but look at Google. I'm going to call this first one. You sold work for somebody else. <laughs> Just what happens. You sell work for somebody else. So you have to be the one to answer the phone. Now, if it's not you, maybe, as I hit the, the thing I have my computer on, if it's not you, maybe it is an answering service. Maybe you have somebody uh, answering your phones for you. Maybe you have a receptionist. Maybe you have an office goddess like I was lucky enough to have. Maybe you have an answering service that charges you per minute. However it is for you to get the phones answered is super important. Now, let me, I got to jump off and I'm going to get a lot of angry people here. And I really do. I apologize. But here's the thing. I call a lot of you guys. Um, when an answering service answers and they absolutely do nothing of value, I don't think it really helps. Yes, it's a step above leaving a message. But if I call... You go, hey, thanks for calling Jersey Window Cleaning. How can I help you? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I was looking to talk to Doug or I'm looking to get an estimate. Oh, great. Well, let me just get your information. I'll have somebody call you back as soon as possible. All right. Well, you are just a fancy voicemail. You're just a voicemail that charges me per minute. That's exactly what it is. So answering services, eh, if they do something, they do something. But it's so much better if you have somebody there who goes, oh, great. Well, let me ask you a couple quick questions on your house. Oh, sweet. We're going right into this. Yeah, here it is. Good question, question, question. What's your address? Here it is. Oh, I'm looking at it right now. Awesome. Everything looks to be about $349. That's inside, outside, track sales and frames. Whole kit and caboodle. And we can book you in on Wednesday between 1 and 2 in the afternoon. Does that work for you? Yes. They got all the information. All they got to say is yes. Great. Well, we got you in there. And before we show up, just make sure, if you're doing outside only, make sure you have all your screens down. Anything that's close to the glass that you don't want us to have to touch, just go ahead and remove that. Makes it easier for our tech so we don't get our dirty hands on any of your beautiful belongings. And uh, yeah, when we get there, we'll introduce ourselves and we'll go from there. Awesome. Well, great. Thank you. That whole process is absolutely done. They got it on their brain, they got it off their brain, they got it booked. Guess what? If someone books with you, they don't call anybody else. As soon as it's done, they don't go back on Google. They don't look at the next one. They don't make the next phone call. They don't send the text. Guess what? Now when your competitor, who they called 15 minutes before they called you, calls them, hey, I just got a phone call from you. Oh, sorry, we already got everything booked. Oh, okay. Well, thank you you win you win you were found you were there they said are you there you said absolutely here's your answers let's book it they call your competitor go are you there your competitor goes leave a message we'll call you back they're not there in the service game in what you're playing the biggest role is speed. The biggest role is how fast and quickly you can get this in, get it off their brain because they don't care like you care. They don't want to think about window cleaning for weeks. They don't want to think about window cleaning for days. They want it to be done. It's in their brain right this second. Let's do it. Go to the grocery store one time. Where is the gum? Where's the gum? It's right next to the checkout. And the reason is because when you go to the grocery store, you don't go to the grocery store to buy one pack of gum. One pack of gum is in your brain right that second when you turn around and you look at it and go, oh yeah, I need gum, boom, put it on. There is gum in an aisle, right? In any store, there's usually some candy aisle that's got gum. But guess what? It's a bunch of packs of gum because it's something you could get in your thing. But one pack of gum is something you think about right then and there. Just think about why it's there. Why is one candy bar available at the checkout? 
because it's an impulse thing. People, it's in their brain. They want it now. Boom, put it on the belt. Done. <sighs> no one is sitting at home going, man, oh, man. I wish I could go all the way over to a grocery store to buy one candy bar. Man, that would be great. Because they don't. If it's in your brain that they want a candy bar or they want a soda or they want a, a bang energy drink or a coffee, guess what they do? They go to a gas station. Because guess what a gas station is? It's a convenience store. A gas station inside is filled. Filled with single things that are in your brain right then and there. You have to be ready to capture somebody when they're ready. Answer every call if you can. If you can't, try to get somebody to answer them. Something to think about in the Google Places is another one. If you're in incognito, incognito view, search places. Search what people see where they see you. I do a ton of my searches, and I know you do too, off of places. I want to see where the people are. I know now that they're local. It shows me reviews, and it shows me I can click the website. If there's no website, I'm not even going to hire you, right? I get everything plus testimonials and pictures. Google Places is so valuable. And a lot of you kind of miss it. You don't even think about it sometimes. Guess what? Google Places is where your Google reviews go. Google reviews tell me how awesome you are. No matter what, go to Amazon. What's Amazon has that nobody else has? You go to Amazon, any single product that they have, every single product they ever have sold has reviews. There's some that don't have reviews because they haven't sold any yet. But all of them got reviews and people want to tell you what they really think. Right? So you could take a bunch of different ones, compare it all together, and go, wow, this one's got a thousand reviews, five star. This one's got 12, like four star. I'm going to choose the other one because so many more people like them. It's, it's social vindication. If you can do that with your company, you're going to blow it away. I have some people that I've looked at sites and things for where uh, I've seen some people who have two reviews. Everybody else is in the 50s. I've seen other people who have 500 reviews. The next guy who's got the most reviews next to him has got 27. Well, guess what? If you look and 10 companies pop up, this guy's got four reviews, this guy's got six reviews, this guy's got eight reviews, this guy's got eight reviews, this guy's got 27 reviews, and this guy has 500 five-star reviews. What are you going to do? And by the way, if you just told me you're going to hire the, a little guy and give him a chance, you're lying. You're absolutely lying. You're going to choose the guy that everybody tells you is so awesome. If you have five friends who come to you and be like, oh, dude, I got this company so awesome. And the other guy goes, yeah, yeah, I've used them too, dude. They're so good. Oh, man, they're so awesome. You're going to use them. That's where reviews are. Reviews come under Google Places. But the big thing is, is that you get to dictate what's on Google Places. You can post pictures. You can ask for reviews from people. You can use Nice Job. You can use So Tell Us. You can use all these programs that help you, or you can just create an email yourself that sends it every time you get a job done. The that night you send out the email and say, "Hey, Mrs. Jones, I just want to let you know I'm a family-owned company, and I live or die off of reviews. I would love if you have kind words about us." tell the world. It would truly help me and my family make this company a success. And it would help little Susie with her dance lessons. Right? Whatever it is. Creating that email to get people one click, get them in, is absolutely valuable. Now all of a sudden you're building social vindication and no one can catch you if you started a race and you started last week and they're all starting now. If you have 100 reviews, the next guy's got six, that guy is not catching up to you unless you really do something wrong, right? So if you could lock down Google Places because you have so many reviews, you lock it down. No one else cares. You would not allow them to get anybody else because you answer the phone and they always will call you because you have so many reviews. You've locked down Google Places. On your Google search, you're on there five times. They see your company all over. You're number one in organic. You've locked down search. You answer your call. That means they're not going to call somebody else because they call you first. There are ads on Google. Are you doing ads? Google Places has ads. And Google itself has ads with ad clicks, ad words. If you have not looked into that, look into that. It's a very cheap way to put your name up there. 
Now all of a sudden you're doing some ads. You got Google Places on lockdown. You got organic searches on lockdown. Reviews on lockdown. People are only choosing you. And then as you know, 50% of your new work comes from referrals. Now, if you just double the number of people who have services done with you, you're going to double the amount of referrals. You're going to. It's just going to happen. So now you got referrals on lockdown. You got Google ads on lockdown. You have uh, places on lockdown. You got organic on lockdown. You're doing some ads. You're killing it. But how do you get there? It's SEO. SEO on the site is like taking that billboard out of the alley and putting it on a freeway. I always talk about Monk. Monk SEO. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna talk about them. By the way, I get to see them tomorrow. Uh, the day that I'm recording this is actually on a Monday, but I'm leaving to IWCA tomorrow. That's why I'm recording today. Anyway, I get to see him. He's an awesome friend. Super super rad guy. Does amazing stuff. Anyway, but get a company that does SEO. Get a company that you know does SEO. Ask anybody who's getting SEO done, or find people who are getting Monk to do it, and find that company is legit. The same reason I told you that everybody listens to before is the same reason people listen to something like that. 10 people you talk to on Monk will tell you absolutely the best thing they ever did for the company. Well, you're going to go with Monk. You're going to go with Monk SEO all the time, right? It's the same thing in window cleaning. You got to find a company that does that for you. A good SEO company will rank you and get you found. Are you there? Yes. Look at boom, here, 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 here. SEO takes a little bit of time. And that's the biggest downfall because when you find somebody who's cheaper or cheaper or whatever, there's, here's the big thing in SEO. This is why SEO sucks in general is, and there's companies out there who have really, 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 really screwed some people. And the reason is they go, well, you know, this is going to take some time. You know, we're going to check reevaluate after about six months. Uh, but by the way, you pay monthly for SEO. So after six months, you go, oh, man, I really am not seeing much of a change. Oh, geez, yeah, you're right, you know. We've been watching it and just hasn't been pulling the algorithms. We're going to have to make some changes. Let's give it another two months here and we'll see where, and all of a sudden you're at eight months. i got nothing, man. I've been paying you thousands of dollars, potentially. Yeah, you know what? I think it's our keyword searches. I think we're going to tweak it a little bit. We're just going to keep tweaking it until we get this puppy right. Well, now all of a sudden it's a year later. You've spent tons of money to find out they've done nothing. That's why it's so important with SEO. SEO companies, you got to find a good one. Forget what I say. You got to find a good one. It doesn't matter who you go with. SEO is like finding the billboard. Finding your website. Getting you ranked. And it's an all the way thing. It's an all the time thing. Do not ever, ever, ever stop doing SEO because you're there. As soon as you stop, it starts falling down. As soon as you, you know, running up the, the mound of sand, you know, if you keep running, you'll get to the top eventually. But as soon as you stop, you start sliding back down. That is SEO. I know a lot of people too are like, oh yeah, it's winter. So I cut my SEO. What? It takes time. You got all this momentum and you just stopped it. It's like, I don't advertise because I'm busy right now. It's the dumbest, worst concept you can do for your business. Anyway, I'll get off my high horse on that one. Let me ask you one quick question. If you parked your truck in a parking lot, say you go to a mall, if malls are still a thing, you park your truck, can I pick out your truck in the mall? Does anybody walking around pick out your truck? If not, well, yeah, I guess if they really look, they can kind of see because they got a little door make. You're failing in that side of it. All those eyes. you got to be found. Make your truck found. I'm not going to go on that because I talk about that all the time. I won't even talk about that. But make your truck found. And last big thing I want to talk about social media. Social media is the worst. It's the worst thing ever. I hate it so much. I have to do social media. I have to do tons of social media just so that people know who I am. People that, you know, need help, I can help. But they got to find me. Social media, they're already there asking questions. It's a great place for me to answer questions. They're like, wow, this guy can help. But I got a stupid TikTok account now. By the way, follow me if you're watching. Please. I, I, I need more followers on TikToks. The kids, they're doing it. It's not dances. 
Uh, it's super valuable, but I hate the algorithm. And ugh, if you if you do social media stuff, sometimes you're like, man, this is gonna kill, and then it does nothing, and you're like, I got like 200 followers on TikTok. That is so depressing. When I get like, I have like a million downloads on the rest of the podcast stuff, and I got 200 followers on TikTok. It's Jersey WCR Nation, anyway, with some underscores. Anyway, do social media. Because guess what? Social media is where people talk to their friends and they look at things and find things and it's just another ranking of things that people can say, hey, look, your friends, five friends of yours like this company. Whoa. They don't even gotta tell me about it. If five friends like them, they gotta be good, right? Be a person. They can connect with a person. You can't connect with a business. If your jersey, they can connect with that. They can't connect with, you know, Jersey's uh, window cleaning company, LLC, and uh, partnership with... They don't connect with that. They may like a company, but they don't connect with that. The fans of a football team are fans because they're wearing jerseys. I have a piece of you. You're not a corporate anything. If you're a really diehard fan, tell me all of the corporate people in there. Tell me who they are. Yeah, you may know the, the manager the, or the, the owner... But tell me 10 more people that sit in an office that, that, that don't do anything, that are all super valuable, that are right under the owner. You can't because you cannot connect with the corporate people. Well, you can tell me every person that's on their roster and how many touchdowns or field goals or whatever somebody's gotten because you connect with the person out of business. I'm telling you it's super important. But either way, I'm done. Off my high horse. Be found. Are you out there? Yes, you're out there, but make sure you're being found. <sighs> American Window Cleaner Magazine. I'm telling you, you're on the fence. You've been on the fence. I get it. But you want to be absolutely rad, right? You want to be epic. You want to show me how epic you are. You want to be like, dude, Jersey, high five for being super duper rad. In some fair terms. But either way, get to the American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's the American Window Cleaner Magazine. A-W-C-M-A-G. Get it. It is a It's a window cleaning magazine that is absolutely all about window cleaning. And there's some amazing articles. It's just like, this is like, this is like the textbook that shows up every month to keep you energized. Because you can look through this and see some super dope pictures. You see stuff like this. You see all that keeps you entertained and it keeps you informed and it's absolutely amazing and do it get some stickers sticker everything up but if you want to give me any type of cheddar get a subscription to the american window cleaner magazine and put your orders in through me you're ordering supplies i know you are i can see your names coming across as you're ordering on your own so let me order for you shameless plug i know but call me 862-312-2026 yes that's my cell phone yes you can text me be like yo jersey everything's in my cart man put it through bro and uh super high five of awesomeness and uh i would love nothing more than to do that for you so do that call me text me whatever and until next week go out there and be epic